On the 7th of March 1850, Senator Daniel Webster made his 7th of March speech in favour of the Compromise of 1850. Welcome to History Pod. The Compromise of 1850 was a series of legislative measures designed to address the divisive issue of slavery and its expansion following the Mexican-American War. The Compromise aimed to maintain a balance between the interests of free and slave states while averting the looming threat of secession and civil war. Key provisions of the Compromise of 1850 included the admission of California as a free state, the organisation of the territories of New Mexico and Utah without reference to slavery, the abolition of the slave trade in the District of Columbia, and the enactment of a stricter fugitive slave law to aid in the capture and return of runaway slaves from states where it was legal. Daniel Webster's 7th of March speech saw the prominent senator from Massachusetts, who was a staunch defender of the Union, deliver an address endorsing the compromise measures as a means to preserve national unity and avert a possible civil war. The speech saw Webster argue that the preservation of the Union was paramount and that compromises were necessary in order to maintain the delicate balance between free and slave states even if it meant making concessions on the issue of slavery itself. Webster's endorsement of the Compromise of 1850, particularly his support for the Fugitive Slave Law, sparked intense debate and controversy. While some praised his dedication to preserving the Union, others condemned him for betraying the principles of freedom and justice. Nevertheless, the passage of the Compromise of 1850 temporarily defused the immediate crisis and postponed the outbreak of the Civil War for another decade. 